Hey, before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you the following companies for their support. They support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. Thank you once again. If you want to learn more about the supporters, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. Happy testing and now back to the main video. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Daniel here. Happy that you're here today. Today I would like to show you a really cool Agentic AI software test automation tool that you can use already if you would like to try it out. It's an open source project and I configured it for you and I would like to show you in that video. You have seen maybe my previous video about Agentic AI where I was talking about the next evolution from Generative AI to Agentic AI. And in this video, I would like to show you an Agentic AI system hands-on. So let's take a look what I brought for you today. So the tool is called TestSers Hercules. And as you can see, I'm on the GitHub page and it's an open source project that you can use actually to test your product. So the installation process I'm not going to show you. It's really straightforward and well documented. What I would like to show you is basically how Hercules works. So the only thing that you have to provide is a Gherkin file. So in case you were using a Cucumber in a BDD style um, framework before, you can reuse your existing Gherkin files and put it into Hercules. And as you can see on the animation, so the only thing that you need to have is the Gherkin file. You put it into the agent and then you get results and reports right away and you get your application tested with your Gherkin files. And Hercules is using the Gherkin files and is sending basically scenario, the given when then structure to an LLM that you can decide which you would like to use. In this demo, I'm using GPT-4.0 as a model, but you can use any other model that is out there. It's already documented in Testers Hercules, how to connect to the system. So let's see how it looks like. So the thing that I prepared for you is basically, what if one small ring could help you unlock your peak performance 24 seven? Meet the ultra human ring air, the sleek, lightweight and incredibly powerful variable that's redefining how we track health and recovery. And with that, I would like to thank you, today's video sponsor, Ultra Human. As I said, this isn't just a fitness tracker. It's a next-gen metabolic health monitor built to decode your body's signals and give you real-time clarity on how you live, drain, sleep and recover. We're talking about ultra accurate tracking of cognitive readiness, deep sleep and recovery, movement and training efficiency, heart rate variability and resting heart rate, even your skin temperature and cardiac rhythm. Unlike bulky variables, the ultra human ring air is so light that you will forget it's even there. Made from fire jet gray titanium, it's engineered to be feather light, scratch resistant and built for performance, just like you. And paired with the Ultra Human app, it becomes your personal health coach, analyzing your data to give you actionable science-backed insights. Eat this, sleep at the time, push harder today, or take a step back and recover. Every day becomes a smarter day. The Ultra Human Ring Air isn't just about tracking, it's about optimizing, optimizing how you show up mentally, physically and emotionally. Smarter recovery, deeper sleep, sharper focus, no distractions, just data. This is the Ultra Human Ring Air. Go beyond fitness, go Ultra Human and check the links down below and get a 10% discount of your next purchase. And now back to the main video, the feature file. And I created one feature file with two scenarios. The first scenario is called and for you to know, I'm using the practice software testing.com tool shop to show you uh, the tool. So the first scenario is a user opens the tool shop demo page. You provide the URL, like given the users on the URL. When the user clicks on a product with the name players and add the user, this element to the cart. 
and then the product was added to the cart. Second scenario is we are going to verify username and password validation. So we go on the login page of that product, we click the login button and then we wait for the validation to be visible and we ask Hercules basically to verify everything with the LLM provided. And that's it, that's it. No configuration files for uh, step definitions, no uh, regular expression writing for those of you already working with Cucumber before. The only thing, you write BDD style scenarios, put it into the agent and then voila, you get the results. So let's have a look. So I am open a terminal and that's what you have to execute basically. So you call test source Hercules with the model that you would like to use. In my case, it's GPT 4.0. And then you provide the uh, access key to the project. And that's it. Then you press enter. And then we see Hercules in a second in action. So as you can see, it's starting up. It's open up a Chromium. So I put this side to by side. And as you can see, it's already like on the players page. So on the left hand side, you can see what's going to happen. On the right hand side in the command prompt, you see what kind of commands it's basically being sent to the LLM that you provided. So now it's checking the players page, doing some things, um, it's trying to add the product to the cart. What I noticed is sometimes it's pretty fast. It's like finding elements really quickly. Sometimes it take a bit. And as you can see right now, it has put the element to the cart. Scenario done, All right? So it's even checking now that we are on that page. So that's not nothing that we um, that I prepared or that I configured, but what this was completely done and handled by uh, GPT. Here's the second one. We are calling the URL login. It was already clicking the login button and voila, we are done. Pretty fast in execution. Sometimes it takes a bit longer. Maybe it's due to the, the availability of the LLM that you're using or some other circumstances that I cannot see right now. So once you have executed your scenarios, you get some insights. So that's basically the project folder of Hercules. Um, in the input folder, that's the, the Gherkin file that we we're just talking about. You get some log file outputs. So in case you would like to take a look at the JSON logs. So basically everything that we have seen in the console is also logged over here. We have the output folder where we can go to and we get an HTML result report. And as you can see here on the top, we get our two scenarios. The user opens the Toolshop demo page and verify username and password. <clears throat> see the total execution time. And you can see like, um, like what scenario took what amount of time. It's, you see the, the outcome is passed. You get some, um, some, some links basically um, to, to the log files. We can see some network logs, agent internal logs. So everything is well documented. Uh, and also you get screenshots, step-by-step -step screenshots and also video of the recording. And the second step, a scenario that we, that we provided was the username and the password validation. As you can see, it was only like 4.6 seconds. So let's take a look at the proofs folder. And in the proofs folder, um, you can see basically the screenshots. So step by step, what has been done by the AI. So it was doing some stuff, clicking around, putting it to the to the to the checkout uh, to the um, to the basket, and that's it. And if you don't like to like take a look at the at the screenshots, you can also have a look at the video. So. It's also uh, creating the video, what's basically has been done and what were the steps that we've just seen a second before. So that's that's pretty cool to see. And the same thing you get for all this, for all the next second scenario. So for each scenario, uh, Hercules is creating a sub, a folder structure. So you get not only like console logs and JSON stuff, you get the screenshots. And again, you get the video of what has been executed, right? And that's, from my point of view, pretty cool, right? And that, that's basically the demo of today. It's like, I think the fastest demo ever because once you have done like all the setup stuff, which is already documented over here, like how to install it. So basically you need to install um, via, via, via pip install testers Hercules. You have to do some, some playwright configuration. So this is also a prerequisite that you have to have run it up and running its playwright. For me, the whole installation process took maybe, I don't know, a couple of minutes because I had some missing dependencies and depending on your internet connection and the missing dependencies, let's say a couple of minutes, not longer than 30 minutes, 
you have testers Hercules up and running and then you're good to go. You need to have your access key to your, as I said before, LLM, put it into a console command and then you're executing it. And I think the biggest benefit of that tool for, for, for existing projects is in case you're using Gherkin BDD style of testing already with other tools on the market, give it a try. I mean, of course, if you're allowed to use in public LLM with, uh, um, with your testing scenarios. However, if you have a private LLM running, there's also a way to configure it and to use it. And with that, you can see like already like how Agentic AI can help you in automating things. And in case you don't have any BDD style of test, um, test scripts written, it's a pretty fast learning curve from my point of view because, because if you do take a look again, this is like, like human natural language, right? So this is something that everybody can write. So in case you are a, a team without a dedicated software testers, but you would like to, de um, to define some scenarios and you would like to test them and you can use an AI system already in your, in your product, that's a pretty cool way to go. So if you haven't checked or if you would like to check it out, go to the GitHub page. Everything is again down below in the video description. Give testers Hercules a try. Um, see how it works for you, for your product. And I would love to share, uh, not to share, but to hear from you. What do you think about that tool? And with that, we're already done for today. Have a great one and see you next time. Bye-bye.